Time now for the three things you need to know and one you don't. The weekly edition. We begin, as always, with our three top stories of the week. A 38-year-old man is facing murder charges in the death of his ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend. Antoine Barnes is accused of shooting and killing 35-year-old Leroy Jefferson on Tuesday at the Bradley House Apartments on Old County Road in Windsor Locks. Police say Barnes pointed a gun at a woman, but the gun didn't fire when he pulled the trigger. UConn's leaders are condemning racism after an incident caught on camera sparked outrage on campus. The university's president and board of trustees are working on long-term steps to address the issue. Two students were arrested after video surfaced showing them yelling the N-word while walking around an apartment complex on campus. And Republicans are pushing back against House Democrats saying the ongoing closed-door hearings should be made public in the impeachment inquiry. They say it's unfair that Democrats are leading the process, even though many Republicans have been questioning witnesses and hearing the testimony. The GOP is demanding that the whistleblower, who's at the center of the impeachment inquiry, should testify publicly. And finally, the one thing you don't need to know, there's nothing like starting your day with some music from some of your favorite singers. I gotta get out Come on, Kate, hurry up! Everybody's smiling, sunshine day. Everybody's laughing, sunshine day. Everybody's See, just happy. just keeps looking at me like, how come he doesn't have to do this? How come Eric doesn't get called over? It's a sunshine day. <laughs> that is the best song. <laughs> You know, it looks even more ridiculous when you see it back, right? Yeah, it's, uh, that's, that's why some, I don't watch myself on television. That's some journalism right there, everybody. That is uh, Syracuse Newhouse. 